Hello everyone and welcome back to Chronos Plays Pokemon Heart Gold and Nuzlocke Challenge. In between episodes, I went ahead and got everyone that wasn't level 10 up to level 10. We're going to start off the gym with the rock because he's a rock ground type. And though he doesn't have a rock based move, he should still do all right in the gym. Now, I don't think I said this last time, but if you have a bell sprout, if you caught one, you can come in here and trade it for an onyx and that will go a long way in this gym as well. Uh, the traded Pokemon, like the Pokemon you trade between NPCs, uh, their, their levels will vary based on what Pokemon you give them. So if you give a level five Bellsprout to the person, you'll get a level five Onyx, a level 10 Bellsprout, level 10 Onyx, so forth and so on. Yo, champ in the making. I'm no trainer, but I can give you some advice. Believe me, if you believe, then the champion dr championship dream can come true. You believe, then listen. The grass type is weak against the flying type. Keep this in mind. I don't like that NPC. It's like, I'm no trainer, I have no idea what's going on, but here's some tips. It's, it's like going on like a uh, medical form and like all the non-doctors going like, oh, you have a headache? Clearly you must do a he headstand for like 10 minutes. All right, so we're going up against a Sparrow here. It's level nine, so we're about the right level. Now, Sparrow's not gonna be able to do too much of anything against uh, the Rock. Even his Fury attack's not gonna do too much. Now, the Rock's basic attack is high enough that Tackle should be, I hate you, Sparrow, and everything you stand for. As I was saying, the attack for the Rock is pretty high, but not so much after two Growls. After two growls, he's actually gonna be kind of weak now, which is just kind of a waste of our tackle PP. The lair, while devastating to some Pokemon, is not gonna do much to the rock. All right. Kind of wish I, I think he learns like rock throw at level 10. I'm not level 10, level 12. So we're probably not gonna be able to get it in time for the leader. Yeah, I know I could go around on the invisible platforms, but I like kind of fighting all the uh, trainers just so I don't have to do as much grinding later on. It's like no reason not to fight these trainers leading up to the, the leader, because even if they do do damage to me, I can just either pop a potion or head back to the Pokemon Center. All right, some Pidgeys. Again, this guy. Sand attack. It's an annoying move. Now, hopefully, I was about to say, now hopefully Pidgey doesn't use Sand Attack again, but thankfully it didn't seem to matter there. All right, Pidgey, buddy, pal, you're a jerk. S stop, stop it. Stop it, you big jerk. Okay, okay, oh my God. I'm gonna have to trade him out. Like, I'm not... <laughs> oh, he finally attacked! Oh, one damage, right? Okay. Alright, let's not waste any more freaking tackle PP. We're probably gonna need them for Pidgeotto. Okay, James, come in here and just kill this thing. All right, no, we'll just do quick attack. I could trade in the rock again when, should I do that? No, oh, grew to level 11. I think it's worth it, because he might be able to level up off the Pidgey from the, oh no, it was level 11. <gasps> A whole new world where we crush flying types. Uh, let's get rid of I mean, we're never really gonna use Defense Girl. Then again, we're never gonna use either of these either. We're, we're especially not gonna use Rock po Polish because speed, not a Geodude's type of game. All right, so now we have Rock Throw. That's great. That's really gonna hurt. Uh, so yeah, I don't really care about switching in the Rock then. I believe... I'm trying to think of the level. I think the level for the gym leader is like, I think the Pidgeotto's at 14. So, but I still think the rock will be able to handle it.
Yeah. Okay. Geo is still up front. Do I need to heal you? You have 32 HP. Uh, 31 HP. You should be fine. I'm Faulkner, the Violet City Gym Leader. People say you can flip, uh, clip flying types wings with a jolt of electricity, but I won't allow such insult to bird Pokemon. I'll show you the real power of the magnificent bird Pokemon. I mean, could we have gotten an electric type by now? Let's think for a second. Oh, um, Mareep. Isn't there like a Mareep around here at certain times of the day? Yeah, that sounds right. Oh, wow, I actually thought your Pidgey was going to be level, like, 11. Alright, well, this thing should be crushed between, like, beneath the rocks. That's great. That's a lot of experience points. I like it. I got Pidgeotto. You're level 13. I wasn't too far off on that one. Now, we want to kill this one quickly because that's not going to do jack all Pidgeotto. But we want to kill... Okay, never mind. I guess it does a little bit more. Damn it! <laughs> now, what I was saying, I want to kill this thing quickly because if we get it down to, like, we don't one-shot it, it can heal up with Roost. So we got to be careful of that. We can still fly! Yeah, I'm sure you can. Okay, so it's not using Roost. This should kill it if it connects. If it doesn't, I'm going to have to use a potion. Okay. Good job, The Rock. 313 experience points? Good golly, Miss Molly. Look at that. Look at that attack and defense. His other stats are awful. But in comparison to, like, everyone else's stats, they're not too, too bad. For pity's sake, my dad's cherished bird Pokemon. But defeat is defeat. All right. Take the official Pokemon League badge. This one is the Zypher badge. They weren't even your own Pokemon. Dude, go catch your own Pidgeys. They're all over the place. With that badge, Pokemon including trading po traded Pokemon up to level 20 will obey without question. It also enables you to use the hidden machine or hidden move Rock Smash anytime outside of battle. And that should be Roost. By using a TM, a Pokemon can, will instantly learn a new move. Think before you act. A TM can be used only once. Oh, yeah. That's next generation, I think, is where they make them reusable. TM51 contains Roost. It restores half the max HP. There are Pokemon gyms in cities and towns ahead. Make good use of them. As for your next move, I would suggest Azalea Town. Alright, Faulkner. Screw you. Your, your dad's Pokemon sucked. That's not true. His dad Pokemon were fine, we just had a type advantage. Which is nice. Oh, Professor Elm. Hello, Rydia. You, we've discovered something. The details are, well, I can't really say anything, but we want you to carry that egg. My assistant's at the Pokemon in Violet City. Can you go meet him and pick up that egg? Click, and uh, yeah, I guess we could do that. I think we have to do that. Uh, first things first, though, I'm gonna go to the Pokemon Center and a Poke Center. Heal. I'm gonna get rid of a Pokemon just temporarily so I can pick up the egg. Then we're gonna like probably never use the egg. <laughs> All right. So I decided to drop off Ricky, and I think I'm gonna leave him there for a little while because I think I will carry around the egg. Now this egg's gonna. Hello. Good morning, Riddy. Isn't it? I have a package for you from your mother. Here you go. We send super potion. Did we miss a call from mother? I guess so. Uh, this is what I'm talking about when I when I said that when you save money with mom, she'll occasionally buy you stuff and send someone to give it to you. Uh, apparently, we missed, usually she'll call you and be like, Sweetie, uh, I stole some of your money and bought something, though I guess she doesn't really take your money. Anyways, long time no see, Rydia. I've been waiting for you. This is from Professor Elm. The thing is, we would like you to take care of an egg. Okay. Rydia, receive the egg. After you left, Professor, Professor Elm received a phone call. I have no idea what they were talking about, but after a while, the Professor Elm suddenly cried out, I can't think of anyone more suited for them than that than Rydia. Then he insisted that I hand this egg to you. That's how I came here, to deliver the egg to you. And see that a Pokemon will hatch from it? Only when you keep it in your party, uh, Pokemon. That's another reason we've chosen you, Rydia. Please take care of it. Yeah, so eggs... 
they hatch based off a number of the number of steps you take. It's really easy when you have a bike and a long, empty route ahead. Me, oh my, that egg must be. I see. So it was handed from Mr. Pokemon to Professor Elm, and then Professor Elm to you. Now I get it. That egg is truly an important egg. Please take good care of it for me. Is that understood? Can I say no? I'm counting on you. Of course you are. Everyone is. Alright, so spoilers! This egg will eventually become a Togepi, which... You know, is an alright normal type. It evolves into a, a somewhat stronger normal type, which, I, to be quite honest, I really rarely ever use. Uh, Togepi is a very high defense Pokemon, I think. That counts as this area's Pokemon as well. Um, yeah, so I can't come back here fish or headbutt later. Now, I'm leaving Ricky because Ricky is not that good. No offense to Ricky. I'm sure he could become something amazing if I gave him uh, proteins or something. But to be quite honest, if you look at our party right now, uh, we have two Pokemon that are going to be kind of gimped in the fact that, like, Geodude and uh, The Rock and Myrtle. They're only going to evolve twice, and then that's it. They're not going to reach their full potential. Then we got Charlotte. I'm not really sure if she's good or not. She has a high attack, which is fine. She doesn't really have that many good moves, which is kind of scary. But, I mean, she might eventually learn something, or she might kind of, like, might be able to learn something from a TM that might be able to help her. We have Oscar, which is a decent Pokemon at the end, though, I mean, in comparison to the other starters, not that fantastic. We have James, which is awesome. I love James. And now we have an egg. And we have Ricky, of course. And Ricky is a Rattata with a low-growing attack stat, which is not good. <laughs> which is just not good. Route 32. Okay, so we can catch a Pokemon here. Now, there is the Runes of Alpha, where I could go catch an unknown. I'm, I'm not going to do that. The unknowns are not really that great. And this is a Nuzlocke, so it's not like a complete walkthrough type Let's Play. We'll catch a Pokemon in a second. Wait up! What's the hurry? We have some good Pokemon there. I was just telling people how we didn't, and you just completely undermined me, NPC. It must be from the training you, they, uh, you gave them around Violet City. That's, yeah, I guess, actually, <laughs> actually true there. The training at the gym must have been especially helpful. As a souvenir of Violet City, take this. It increases the power of grass-type moves, which is kind of ironic that we get this from defeating the flying-type gym. But we will give that to Oscar, because why not? I almost hit trash. And yeah, there you go, Oscar. Now, let's come in here. It's morning, so we sh I don't... Hobbit, I think, is around here? We got a Rattata, and that's one. Four, and it's a Bell Sprout. All right, so I think we should be fine with a tackle here. Don't prove me wrong. Okay, one more tackle, unless it crits. If it crits, that sucks. But one more tackle should do it. All right. So let's catch us a Bell Sprout. Yeah, I actually was... Oh, that's not it. I was actually thinking, beginning to think, that we weren't able to catch something here because we just got to our fourth one. It's been Rotatas the other three times. Kind of wish I caught a Pokemon here last episode, though, because the Pokemon around here are, like, level like level six, and the Pokemon I trained off of were, like, three to five. So, yeah, my bad. We got Bell Sprout's data. Even though its body is extremely skinny, it is blindly fast when catching its prey. Give a nickname to the Bell Sprout. Sure. And his name will be Dangly Bits. Because I'm... I was at a loss, pretty much. So I just went by how many things he had hanging from it. Alright, so that's it for this route. I guess I could have came down here, because I think we could catch, like... Zubats in the morning? That seems wrong. This is a flying type, though, though it shouldn't have any flying base moves. Leech life might be bad. That's bug against grass. 
It's super effective at two damage. Never mind. That's right, Leech Life is actually kind of a crap move, isn't it? I mean, I'm sure at higher levels it's all right. No, it's crap, it's, it's crap. There's a lot of crap moves sometimes. I put Oscar up front because why not? Uh, the Rock was level 12, everyone else is level 10 except for James. So we'll start with Oscar, get him up a little bit. Uh, though, to be fair, in the cave coming up, we're gonna be fighting a lot of Rock type Pokemon. So uh, we'll worry about that then. I haven't seen you around before. You think you're pretty tough? I'm pretty and tough, so yes. Now, do you have a Rattata? You do, of course you do, you're a youngster. Level six? You're almost on par with the uh, random encounters around here. Generally speaking, I don't like being on par with the random encounters. I like being slightly higher. Random encounters I view as just fodder for my, my Pokemon. Okay. I almost, I keep wanting to call them Digimon, and that's not like a statement or anything like that against Pokemon or Digimon. Just when I played Digimon, I, oh, like, I, a couple times I called the Digimon Pokemon, and every time I was editing it, I would get mad at myself. I'm like, stop calling them that. And I think I just burned it into my brain that anytime I say Pokemon, my brain goes, no, don't say Pokemon, say Digimon. No, I'm like, no, we're playing Digi uh, Pokemon now. We can say it. Ah, uh, my brain's weird sometimes. I hurt myself today to see if I could still fail. So let's bring in the rock, because I don't want to use a potion right now, and have him throw rocks at this Zubat. We don't want our first death to be to a Zubat. I could use a potion and be fine, but we're also confused. Yeah, let's, yeah, just, just lay the smack down, Rock. That should instantly kill him. All right. That's not bad experience for a Zubat. You're not wrong. You're strong. Yeah, I know I'm strong, Albert. Oh, Joey. Why are you the only one that calls me Joey? Rydia, good morning. It's Joey. Are you still sleeping? Hey, do you remember my super cool Rattata? My Rattata's different from- No, it's not, Joey! It's the same goddamn Rattata as everyone else's. Except for mine, who's kind of crap. Um, let's go a little bit to the south and get this item. Which is a Repel. I love Repels. I should probably try to buy some of those. Just in case. We run into something like that. I use the potion in battle, so Oscar is fine. Hey, girl! Uh-huh, yeah, and you know... A party Pokemon battle? I'm on the phone. Uh, all right, I'll accept your challenge. Pignor Liz. Nidoran female, all oh, level eight. Poison strong against grass, right? But I don't think Nidoran female has any poison moves just yet. I think they start off with scratch and they learn double kick at level 12. And then Poison Pin at like level 15? Nidoran is like one of my favorite Gen Run Pokemon types. I love Nido King, love Nido Queen. We, I, well, no, no, there's an area in the game we might be able to run into one or the other. Though it's a lot of other Pokemon in that area too, so. And there's always a chance that we won't, which would be kind of sad, you're right. Though we would have to get a Moonstone, and I don't know where we get stones in this generation. Well, that's not completely true. I know there's I know of one NPC that can give you the Firestone when she calls you, and I remember that because way back when I first started playing Pokemon Gold, I had a Growlithe, and I was so determined to get this thing up to an Arcanine that I ow no critting. Anyways, I was so determined to get the evolve, I looked up where to get a Firestone, and then I burned it into my memory to where I can get that Firestone. But, you know, that information may or may not come to use later on in the playthrough. Probably not, but, you know, we'll see. Right. Oh, now you could have played. Nice job, Oscar. Are we really going to have to use another potion on you? No, because you're level 12 now, and I'm going to switch you out for someone else in the party. Good special defense. Synthesize. I mean, sure, I guess I wouldn't have to use a potion then. We'll get rid of Growl, because I never really use it. 
Who am I gonna level up now? That's a that's a good question. Is there an uh oh oh you're on a big journey to see the sights? Neat. Let's be friends. Can I have your phone number? I want to hear about everything you've seen. Sure, Liz. You can call me and talk to me about Nidoran female all the time. You're like the Joey of picnickers. I'll telephone you if I hear anything interesting. No, no, you won't. You'll telephone me just to chat. Who am I going to level up now? Myrtle is lackluster. Charlotte is lackluster. I could go back to the rock. See, okay. I feel bad about saying that about Myrtle and Charlotte. They're good. Pokemon, they are, but they have crap moves right now, baby. Like really crap move. Like Myrtle will learn. You know what, they're fine, we'll put her up front. Myrtle will learn her next attack at level 15. Cause I looked this up cause I didn't know for sure when the hell she learned a, an actual good attack move. At level 15, she'll learn Nightshade which does damage based on your level. So at level 15, she'll have a move that does 15 damage. It's a ghost type move, so it's still ineffective against uh, normal types, but it's better than Lick for the most part. Oh, this is not good actually, because I think if we Lick it, we're gonna trip balls and become poisoned. No, actually, because we're ghost poison, aren't we? So we can't become poisoned through it, right? All right, we're doing all right. I mean, you should stop pecking me. That's kind of rude. And we do this now, and then eventually we'll be able to get five levels and get Nightshade. It's not that far off. If this thing crits me, I'm going to be so goddamn sad. Just do it. Okay. That should kill it. I'll use a potion on it. 115 experience? Yeah, that seems about right. <laughs> I was actually I'm like, is that really only gonna fill her up halfway? Ha <laughs> ha! Kinky. But that was, I, I would have sworn we would have gotten a level out of that. Is are ghastly's like a slow experience type? I don't think they are. Let's go up here and get this. Of course, it's a Rattata, so I actually had to throw out a different Pokemon when we actually got into battle, which is why the Rock's now level 13. Boy, howdy, that level up and one HP gain. Oh, there's I'm down there. I guess I really should have stocked up on potions before I left. Though, I kind of thought five would be a night. Oh, Bullet Seed. Yo, Myrtle girl, can you learn that? You can learn that, right? Power 10, oh, fuck off. I mean, she can't learn it anyway, so. I mean, go figure, we'd find a crappy TM sitting in the middle of nowhere. Well, we're almost out of licks because it does so little damage, I have to use it like 10 times. Excuse me, you have a whooper? I think that's true. I found some good Pokemon in the grass. I will think I'll do it. That'll do it for me. So you're gonna just throw them at me? And when you say good Pokemon, do you mean you found one? Because Gordon, you have one. It's level 10, which actually might be bad. So let's put it to sleep. Yeah, what does mean look do? I don't think it matters. So let's lick this thing and see how much damage it does. It's a reasonable amount, I guess. I don't think seven's gonna kill it. That's two and it took off like, what, a quarter? Ah, uh, maybe, maybe, ah, uh, probably not. You know what, let's just get Oscar in here. Cause how many we have, we have five. Nah, let's just, this Oscar, get in here. You have 12 HP, Oscar! Why? Oh, I didn't heal you because I wasn't gonna use you. I'm an idiot. Thankfully, you're faster than Wooper. That's how we're gonna lose our first Pokemon one day. I'll forget to heal someone. 
and send them out anyway. Damn it, I was really hoping Myrtle was going to gain a level there. Shucks, I thought I could win. No, no, you had no chance. See you later, buddy. Yeah, this guy will try to sell you a slowpoke tail. And they'll be like, give me one million polka dollars and now sell you this tail. And you're like, no. I mean, you, you, you can't afford it anyways. I don't think we can get a million polka dolls. But anyways, that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press the like button below. If you're not subscribed yet, why don't you head to my video section and check out some other content and see if it's to your liking. Once again, thank you for watching. I hope you all have a great day.